Hi there, my name is Turek, and today I want to talk to you about our friend Luffy from One Piece and what it will really mean when he becomes King of the Pirates. Luffy made this very clear from the beginning that it's his goal. He heard from Shanks about Roger and becoming King of the Pirates. When he traversed the Grand Line, reached Raftal, doing something no one had ever done before. But this goal to me has always seemed somewhat vague that there is no real throne been shown and it's kind of implied or implicit that there's a king of the pirates that they, they rule over the other pirates but there's no nothing to show that and it was even stated by Rayleigh that people start calling Roger king of the pirates when he reached Draftal and, and did all his accomplishments and Luffy himself has stated he only wants to be King of the Pirates to be the most free man in the world. And this is the center of where I see this uh, issue with uh, Luffy doing this. And this correlates with his character of not really thinking things through, which we all know he does in, in vastly. When he becomes the King of the Pirates, <laughs> we all know he's going to do it. And I think it's great that he's going to do it. But I don't think it's going to be great for his crew if they're not ready. Because those supernovas want to be the King of the Pirates. The Yanko, they all covered this position. And Kaido and Big Mom have been holding on to road pile glyphs so that no one else can do it before them. When Luffy does this, and back to the Marines too. The Marines are going to be hunting down Roger. They, they hunted down Roger and they hunted down all his children, potential children, when he was executed. What do you think is going to happen when Luffy becomes King of the Pirates next? They're going to come after him with everything they got. And I don't think Luffy's ready for this. Being the most free man. When, when you're a king, you're not necessarily free, are you? You're, you got this burden on you. You're, you're usually a king is the head of state that has to make all these decisions, uh, kind of an autocrat, and they they're, have constant stress put on them. And Luffy, while he's not going to be the real king of the pirates, is going to have a lot of stress of enemies all around him. Like an actual king would have too, political enemies usually for the king. People who want to take over that position, you want to usurp the throne. I don't think Luffy's ready for that, and I think someone like Rayleigh should have sat down with him and told him that. Though I think Luffy would never listen anyways, and they, they see the spirit of Roger in Luffy. I feel like some adult, Garp would probably have been best, but he doesn't, he always just, him and Luffy just fight anyways. So, sit down with Luffy and let him know the odds that are against him when he becomes king and specifically what that means for him and his crew because Luffy really cares about his crew they're his family does he really want all those odds against his family he should really sit down with them and talk about this guys we're, we're gonna have all these people against us are you ready that's all something some kind of character growth here no, it's not all bad for Luffy to be king of the pirates. I, I'm making this a painting a very bad picture here, but I think Luffy will be a great standard bearer of pirates because he's not really a pirate, is he? He's more of an adventurer. I really think if Luffy had started out without raising a Jolly Roger and he was sailing around with his crew, and he could have almost like freelance for the Marines or something, helping of writing all these wrongs that he did with uh, regards to something like uh, Arlong but you know, the stuff with Dressrosa and Alabasta would have still got him in hot water because he's taken down warlords that represent the government still but if Luffy had started out and not got in trouble with Marines so much he's really more of an adventurer not a pirate because he's not raiding, he's not pillaging all that na naughty stuff that they do they're looking for treasure. I mean, there's probably enough buried treasure around that they could claim and keep, and then not really a pirate then. So, anyways, when Luffy becomes the pirate king, 
he would be set a better standard of being what a pirate, a new lab, uh, kind of paint over what a pirate really is. That pirates don't have to be murderers and raping and pillaging and stuff. That they're just people that want to be free. And that really is an underlying message in uh, One Piece that I enjoy. That most pirates go out to sea to be free. It looks like something that Whitebeard kind of wanted and well, he wanted a family too. And Roger too. To be able to get away from it all. To be out there and doing what they want. Not have the burden of society on them. So Luffy is the... Uh, Pirate King, it sounds like a good thing, as long as he's ready for the odds. I hope by then he's awakened his devil fruit and has the strength to take on admirals because they're going to be the first ones after him, I'm sure. It won't be just one admiral, like the Celestial Dragon summoned the Sabote. It'll be all the admirals, I'm sure, and the vice admirals going after him to take down the Pirate King. And you can bet they're going to go look after where he was too and see if he had any kids. Hopefully they don't know by then about him and Boa Hancock. There goes that island. It's an island full of women. They find out he was there. They're going to kill everyone thinking he had had some fun with uh, more than one lady there. So, Luffy, you got to be ready, man. So, that's all I had to say about that. And uh, thanks for watching.